there is no room for the two of us when I will the M1 on. What's up YouTube? Blue Thring here and hope you liked that uh, variant to my intro. It was kind of weird but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, today we have a pretty awesome video. I am uh, actually going to showcase, as you can see in the background, the M1 Irons. Yes, it's finally been added into the PSN and the PC options and now you just wreak havoc in multiplayer with this. It is an absolutely beast gun and uh, yeah, today I'm just going to showcase what it's about. So leave a like if you like this video and uh, yeah, let's get started. So pretty much this is a Western revolver. It's pretty cool, yep. Yeah. Uh, and it has six shots, also pretty cool. But what's kind of weird is that it's in the special weapons category. You'd think because it's a uh, revolver pistol that it would be in the pistols category, but yeah, I guess it's kind of overpowered to be a pistol, so I guess that's why they put in the special one. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So the stat for it is uh, damage is 12, which means it's a two-shot kill from close to medium range, as the uh, drop-off points are 52, 34, and 33. So not too much at that medium long range, so only one damage drop-off. Accuracy is 8, which means it's fairly accurate, but it has pretty terrible iron sights. So. Yeah, but it has a low recoil as well, so that's pretty good for a pistol. Fire rate is 5, which means that you need a fairly good trigger finger to get it up to its 600 RPM average. Range is 4, which means you need to be fairly close to drop people. The handling is 10, and the mobility is 12, which are both pretty good already which means you can move around fairly quick, which is what this weapon is designed for, I guess. Uh, and the ammo is also six rounds of the gun, obviously because it's a six round revolver. But you also get 84 backup rounds, which is like what you hold in the background. So overall, it, the stats are pretty good. Obviously, when you get to some of the variants, which I will explain very soon, they do differ quite a bit, so now the attachments that I would use or recommend using is, I got a couple here, so advanced rifling and quick draw grip just to get your range a bit further and bring it up quicker because the ADS is alright but it could be improved, so quick draw grip will really help that or you could go for the akimbo which means you hold one in each hand so two of the M1 advanced rifling and a tactical knife but personally what I would use because I don't like the iron sights very much I would use the red dot sight advanced rifling and then I would use the primary gunfighter wild card to get quick draw as well just increasing that stuff. So, yeah, pretty much those are what I would recommend running. But definitely, you you don't need to put laser sight on. That's the only one I would recommend not to use because the hip fire is pretty tight already. So you don't really need a laser sight to improve that. So the variants, I will put the images and stats on the screen as I go through. So starting with the enlisted, there's the Gun Slinger, the Enforcer, the Desert Wanderer, and the Stranger. Those are pretty interesting, they are just enlisted, but a couple of them have pretty good stats. Uh, for the professional weapons, there's the Sundown, the Showdown, the Shootout, and the high moon. Once again, these do all have interesting stats. And finally, the elite, the unforgiving truth. 
which is also the royalty which has come out on xbox and will be in a couple of weeks on the ps network and pc and there's also the outlaw so from these variants i would say that the better variants from each category and this has been the gunslinger because it has the integrated akimbo but the only attachments that you can actually put on is advanced rifle so that's actually not too bad for the start because you need or i would recommend putting the advanced rifle on because yeah you, you need it for the professional the, i would say the showdown will be the best because it, once again it has integrated the combo and it has uh, increased range, so that's pretty good. And then for the Elite, the Outlaw and the Unforgiven Truth are about the same, but personally I would say that the Outlaw is better because it has the increased fire rate, as well as the ADS time is decreased by 10%, so that means you can aim down sight quicker than you would with the normal ones uh, but this is traded off for a decrease in range and reserve ammo so yeah I they're they're about the same but personally I would choose the outlaw but another thing that I would recommend is you don't want to have this as your solid weapon like you, you, you definitely need something to carry yourself out once you're used up all your ammo and your M1. So I would recommend also the overkill wild card because then you could put like a bow or a ASM1 there or something like that will just help you a bit because yeah this is good for a 1v1 fight pretty much not anything more than that because as soon as you run out of your six rounds you will need to reload and it's not too quick. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps up everything. Leave a like if you've liked it. And uh, comment when you actually like this M1 Iron Gun. Well, I like it. Hope you guys like it. And stay tuned on my channel. Subscribe if you want. Because I am actually putting up an extremely awesome video next week. Hopefully I can get it up by then. So, hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and peace. Friendly UAV above.